Oh, guys, you know, this is some of you guys got to do better, man. Um, one of the things that I often talk about on here is people making uneducated comments, not asking questions about who they're dealing with or knowing who they're dealing with. They just run across one video such as me at Walmart talking about the oils that I see in front of me and giving the best option for what's there in front of me, right? And, uh, you know, unfortunately at Walmart, they don't have all the oils that you'd like to see sometimes, like Pennzoil Platinum Ultra. And many of you, if you're honest, know that my favorite oil is by far Pennzoil Platinum Ultra next to Redline. And Pennzoil Platinum Ultra is just my go-to for most vehicles. And I've expressed this and professed this to you guys over and over and over again here on this channel. I mean, it's a no-brainer. People are like, oh, you're some kind of Pennzoil junkie. You're just... No, it's a great oil. A lot of technicians love Pennzoil Platinum Ultra, and it comes factory filled in the SRT engines right from the... You know, right from... Uh, you can't say certain Chrysler products or Dodge or Dodge or whatever, but it comes right from Chrysler and the SRT engines, right? And what I don't get is when people come by and they see you at... You're doing a short... You got 60 seconds to put out information and you go through Walmart and you're saying this is the best option you have at Walmart right now. I've never seen ultra platinum at Walmart for Pennzoil so I'm looking at what I have in front of me and I go through and I break things down section by section by section. It's kind of ironic how Walmart has them laid out where you kind of got the okay lower grade stuff moving into the better stuff in this particular Walmart with a short video and then all of a sudden you're you end up with the Pennzoil and the Valvoline at the end and it's like hey man this is really good stuff the Platinum series is a really good series Ultra is the high end of the bunch but out of everything here that I would pick I'd probably go with like the Valvoline high mileage stuff just because the VOA the ad package is phenomenal with Valvoline uh, the advanced minimum I've tested multiple times, like 225, 250 parts per million Molly ad pack is absolutely great. You get into the high mileage stuff, you're in the 375, 400, and it's dinuclear Molly, so it's it's a pretty good ad pack overall. And then I'm looking at what's in front of me, rating it from worst to best, and then I get comments like this gentleman here. Let's read what he says together. Nope, Pennzoil Ultra Platinum is made from natural gas and is tops. Pennzoil Ultra Platinum is better than top Valvoline. I've been purchasing it for less than $24 for a 5-quart jug at Walmart, so you're not being honest. I think this video is easily spotted as a Valvoline commercial. You said you aren't being paid, but you are getting compensated with free products. How much his products have you gotten for free? You hardly stated anything about Pennzoil, and I think that's because you know top Pennzoil is better than top Valvoline. You didn't bother to price out the pens oil so that's telling you what you said you weren't being truthful i won't be a subscriber oh my god what a comment <laughs> what a comment and i don't want a subscriber like that trust me i'm not here begging for subscribers i'm doing very well for myself with what i have to be honest with you with my channel being monetized i make double the income that some people do with twice the amount of followers that I have because more people watch my videos longer. So my CPM is much higher. If we were talking about I'm um, after the money, I make the money that more people with one and a half, two times more subscribers than me make on, on, on the average. So I'm not worried about that. But to be called out in, in the aspect of this guy thinking that he watched one video and he actually understands what I'm saying in this video is ridiculous. This guy says, oh, I go to Walmart and I find Ultra all over the shelves and I pay $24, which tells me that's a red flag right away. How many Walmarts have I been in? How many times have I went and checked oils out? How many dozens and dozens and dozens of samples have I sent off that's cost us thousands of dollars because you guys have participated in the VOAs? Let's pull up the VOA on one right now. All right, here's the VOA, 5W30, TBN a 7.7 .7 it says, got some trace metals, no big deal, that's normal, 91 molybdenum, but that is an infinium molybdenum, so it's like triple that amount, 272 boron, 1163 calcium, magnesium 813, 778 zinc, all right, everything looks great here, it's a great oil, nothing looks bad, it's awesome. You know, I've always promoted platinum as being my top, my like favorite oil, I've always said that, I've never hid that. But you guys are right. I, I must be promoting Valvoline's. That's why I don't promote Valvoline over Pennzoil Platinum. 
And the reason I specifically didn't mention Pennzoil Platinum Ultra in that video, like I really like, that's my number one favorite oil, that's the most affordable oil. Every time I've wanted to get it, I've had to order it from Napa or Amazon or something like that because they don't have it at the Walmarts around me. And a lot of people resonate the same thing. They can't find the Ultra on a lot of the shelves. Only very few stores carry it. But this gentleman here, he knows what's up. And he knows that I'm a paid-for shill by Valvoline. <laughs> Some of y'all need to correct this gentleman. And I'm going to leave a link to the short so you can see exactly what he's talking about yep that's right i didn't mention ultra because i didn't do any testing on it i don't know nothing about ultra hell i don't even know anything about oils here i, I came clean guys i'm being paid by valvoline to say valvoline oil is the best and and i don't know anything about oil and blackstone labs lies on the oil test for me uh because because i'm paying them to lie <laughs> so is project farm and and uh, Brian from Fortech Make You Loco and Scotty Kilmer and everybody else that says Pennzoil Platinum Ultra or the Platinum Series uh, gas to liquid formula is just a phenomenal product. Yep, they're all being paid to lie. Ooh, some people, man. Go out and pick, your, pick yourself up some Pennzoil Platinum Ultra and you will not regret it. It is the best oil that's the most affordable that I've ever tried. The next step up that I think is the best overall is Redline Ester Base Series. And uh, a lot of people love AMS oil. There's nothing wrong with AMS oil. It's a good product, but it is not my product for long-term use. I just don't. I look at the ad pack and it's not what everybody makes it out to be VOA wise and long-term wise. I don't see that either. We've run, we ran a Super Duty 6.2 liter for 18,000 miles with AMS oil, 5W30, and change the oil filter at 9,000 miles, put another 25,000 mile filter on it. If the damn engine was taking 18,000 miles into the run for testing purposes at the dealership. And the guy tore it down, had a lift, lifter issue going on, and then looked at all the varnish and the tarnish inside the engine and was like, nope, I'm done. I'm not running this stuff anymore. This ain't no 20,000 mile oil. So it is what it is. Y'all pick and choose what you want. But like this guy said, he's got me all figured out. Trolls, man. Trolls. My channel, I love it. I love it when the trolls come by because it gives me video content. And then I can laugh about these people and how freaking big an idiot they are. Y'all have a great night.